Andy! Come on. Got some breakfast on for you. I need to talk to her. Well, she'll be at school. You'll see her there. We need to get things cleared up. Well, she'll come round, given time. Come on. Are you all set for your exam? and popped your clogs. <laughs> no. But if I was going to pass on, I can't think of a more beautiful piece of music. I always fancied going out high kicking to Disco Inferno myself. Oh, well, to each his own. <laughs> Is Mac about? No, he isn't. I haven't seen him since he went out last night. Oh. I thought he might have spent the night at the pub. No, I was babysitting for Ashley. It was all very last minute. I wanted to say I was sorry. I didn't hear him come in, and he certainly hasn't been down for his breakfast. Right. Oh, I've not seen you so interested in a paper since Posh and Betsy's wedding. Hmm. What are you looking for? I just want to see what Betty Eggleton has been saying about my cafe. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Well, she's a bit of a glam gran, isn't she? I wouldn't say glam glum, maybe. <laughs> Have I made the front page? Oh, I've got better things to do than look at that tittle-tattle. See ya. See ya, love. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> there I am. I I I'll have the, the five copies, please. Five copies? Yeah, well, I want some to send to my friends, won't I? Well, you see, that's the problem with being a provincial celebrity. You only get into the provincial papers. I'll have you know I'm the star of the internet. There you go. With all this new technology, anyone can be a star. It's not as though you're uh, Elizabeth Taylor or someone like that now. She is a real star. The only interesting thing you've done is scratch your bum in front of a few spotty teenagers. Didn't stop you from cashing in on it. I did nothing of the kind. Oh, come on. You don't mean to tell me that all them kids sat surfing the net in your calf were doing it for now to charge my the minute to buy the hour. You're not going to school today? I don't feel very well. How about I take the day off work and spend some time with you? OK. Oh, hello, Dan. Coming in. Thanks. You all right? I brought some of your stuff back. I thought you might need it. Thanks. I'll just pop it in your room, OK? All right. He'd be glad to have you back. He hasn't said I told you so yet. He won't be thinking that. We will. Well, at least you're at home. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us stay. Oh, that's all right. Any time. Have you spoken to Andy? No. He's probably the last person you want to see at the moment, eh? Should we move back with the dad, then? Yeah. He'll be pleased. Well, he will, won't he? What did you say to her? Just that maybe it wasn't such a good idea, you know, having the baby and stuff. I'm sure that's just what she wanted to hear from you right now. But it's not easy. Imagine what it's like for her. It's for the best. Who wants a baby at her age? Where is she? Don't look like she's coming, mate. Maybe she's got a lift in. And here's the bus. You coming? I'm going to go see you. What about your exam? Come on, let her chill. We'll see you later. I'm telling you, she had a water bed. All you had to do was jump on, let the waves do the rest, like being in Baywatch. Yeah, well, it's all right for some. Back skelly, me. Uh, it's not my fault you slept in the van. You had enough offers. And I thought that blonde would have been right up your street. No, no, no. Well, you'd have had a bed for the night, if nothing else. Good night, lads. Yeah, not bad. It was great. Sydney's had his first experience on a water bed. Really? Did he get to shout surfs up? Oh, now, why couldn't I have thought of that? I wonder. What about you? Oh, he's got a sore back. It's just like old times, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, uh, we better get to work. Well, that is it is. Don't let me stand in your way. 
So, uh, B12. Yeah, and B6 and B1. B1. How about A59? Or the A1, for that matter. No, we're talking about vitamins, not road numbers. Sorry. Look, it says here, what we eat and when we eat affects our brain functions and how we feel. Well, you have to look at Terry to understand that. Hey, I'm a great believer in the beer and kebab diet. Keeps me in tip-top shape. Hey, I could always do you uh, Caribbean food, if you like. That's a good idea. It's not too much trouble, is it? No, of course not. We'll give it a try, eh? Mm. Thank you. What have you got planned for the rest of the day? I'd like to get out this evening, maybe see some friends in Houghton. I'll give you a lift if you like. That'd be kind. You sure you're up to it? Yes, of course. I have a friend who does reflexology. Should be worth a try. Great. Oh, wish you'd open a window when you're cooking that bacon. Have you seen this article in the paper about me? I've got a pile of clean washing there. They describe me as delightful, you know. And I don't want to go out smelling as though I've been in a house. Fire. What do you think you're doing? Oh, it's just a scrap. Yes, but Tootsie doesn't eat bacon. Oh, a little bit like that's not going to hurt. Uh... She is not to have any. I thought Seth was fussy, but you take biscuits. Well, if you're not happy here, then maybe you should speak to him about moving back in across the road. Oh, I'm not moving back in with him. No, he's the one who violated my privacy. Besides, I think it's a bit late for that sort of thing. What do you mean, it's a bit late? I think the time for moving back in has come and gone, don't you? Oh, don't worry, Edna. I'm sure we'll soon get used to each other's pernickety little ways, given time. Tootsie. Oh, naughty mummy says no. <laughs> you all set for your open day? Yeah. I'm really looking forward to meeting the other carers. Just thought we are going to be late. Where's Paddy? I just got out of the shower. So, what are you going to do on your day off? I might lie out in the back garden if the sun comes out. You have a shower this morning? I, I had a quick one. And was it hot? Well, warm. Well, it's freezing cold now. It was lovely enough when I got in. Hello? No, that's just for today, Mrs Nixon. Yeah, well, sorry about that. I open tomorrow as usual. Yeah, OK. Bye-bye. Bye. Are you OK about closing surgery? Well, not really, no, but I haven't got a choice, have I? Sooner Rona starts, the better. Nicola, I know that we're... Sh Nicola! I know that we're shut for the day, but you have to keep an ear open for the phone, all right? I will. And any emergency calls, you know what to do. Phone you. Right. What? Well, I can't help it, can I? If there is one, I have to go. Well, come on, then. Hurry up. Is she in? Oh, she's in all right. Has she got a centrefold? They've only given her half a page. Oh, well, I'd better take one for a scrapbook. Seth, I need to speak to you about Betty. Has she got you as our agent? She's been acting very strangely. I think she misses you. Really? She seems so very low. Can't be easy being that famous. I've actually took her home. I don't think it's as simple as that. It never is with Betty. Well, I think if you want her back, you're going to have to try a little harder. I suppose you're right. But don't tell her I've spoken to you. Don't worry. Loose lips sink ships. I won't say a word. You planning on some home improvements, sir? Oh, just looking for some ideas for our new dream home. Yeah? Well, if you need a good, strong builder to make your dreams come true, you know where to come. Oh, I'd love that. But I think Marlon's got Zach and Lisa roped into doing it. Maybe you should have a word with him. I mean, it's Summer, who would you rather have working for you? Me and Mike strip down to our waist in whatever you tell us, and Lisa Dingle. I'll speak to Marlon. Uh, you won't regret it, I promise you. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Nothing. It's not easy, eh? It's not good for the baby, all this worry. Come here. I'm so sorry, Dad. It's OK. No, it's not. I made a right mess of everything. We all make mistakes. Not like this. 
How could I have been so stupid? Listen, everything's going to be all right now you're back here. We'll get through it together, I promise. Maybe it's Andy, I don't want to speak to him. Don't worry. What are you doing here? Where is she? Oh, Katie. Hi, Mum. What have you done, love? You're the one who's supposed to be looking after her. Yeah, only because you walked out. Oh, I should have known something like this would have happened after that hit and run. Didn't you talk to her about contraception? No, I didn't. What do you expect? They get it at school. Well, they obviously don't teach it very well. I mean, I know accidents happen, but there are other things that you can do. It wasn't an accident. Didn't you tell her about the morning after pill? It wasn't an accident. We planned it. We wanted to have the baby. Katie, you're 15. I'm nearly 16. But you're still too young to have a baby. Oh, don't you start. So where is this lad now? We've split up. You've got yourself in a right mess, haven't you? What are you going to do? Well, Dad wants me to get rid of it. I only want what's best for her. And what do you want to do? I want to keep it. But you just said a few minutes ago you've made a mistake. Brian! I didn't say I wanted an abortion. But you've no reason to keep it now you and Andy have split up. We're not talking about some CDs, Dad. Or a video I've borrowed off him. We're talking about a baby. I don't care what you two think. So, I thought I might as well have Saturday off. Go and see some old friends. The ones with the big bug eyes who live on the moon, you've met them. Sorry? Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. OK, I'm not fine, but it's not life and death stuff. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. OK. It's me and Mac. I thought I could handle a casual relationship, but uh, he went out last night and I think he probably slept with someone else. And you're not so sure about it being that casual? No. Have you spoken to him about it? No. Well, maybe you should. But he'd just think I was being too clingy. But there's no point torturing yourself, and until you know what happened, you're not going to know either way. I hate you, Ashley. You're always right. You finished early? I mean, I didn't even get started. What do you mean? I've got to go and see you. What about your exam? I have to tell her that I made a mistake. Oh, you don't say. I need to tell her that I love her. Don't be soft. I don't think it's a good idea to see her right now. I, I need to tell her that I'll stick by her, whatever she does. Well, she'll still be there when you get home tonight. Your dad's going to kill him. What a prat. There you are. <laughs> I'm sorry I've not been around. It's not your fault. Sounds like he's not giving you an easy time of it. Yeah, he'll probably deserve it. You know, I remember when I had your brother Sam. I was 20. Everyone said get rid of it. Stick in at college. You don't regret it, do you? No. I don't want to get rid of mine. You don't have to. I will if Dad gets his way. Look, why don't you come back with me? I can't dump on Dad like that. Well, even if you fancied it for a few days, just to get some headspace. Think about it. It's a big job, though, Marlon. You'll manage it, though. Yeah. And we could do with the extra cash coming in. It's good to keep it in the family, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you still insist we stay on round here? How do you mean? Well, if you are, I've got us another job. Whereabouts? Trisha's new house. Uh, sir, lad, I think we've been beaten to it. No, she said the job was ours. Did she? Hmm. Hey, are you been nicking work off me in Sydney? Not me. I think you have. Whereabouts? Trisha's new house. Well, Marlon's just asked me to do it. Trisha's promised it to Sydney. Is there something wrong with me here? Have you offered this lot the work in our house? I was going to speak to you about that. 
But I thought we agreed we were going to let Zach and Lisa do it for us. I know. You know, well, so why have you been talking to them about it? I don't know. It just seemed like a good idea. Lisa's family. So, lad, looks like we're going to be young again. I am sorry. Molly winding you up. <laughs> <laughs> you really have me going there? Hey, but well, listen, if you need a hand, just give us a shout. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, uh, you could give it a rub. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Is this part of your complimentary therapy? Now, that's a good idea. What should we say every day after lunch? <laughs> so, do you think she's all right? I think she's getting better. How long's that gonna last, though? She's on the mend. Rather, she was happy than miserable. Yeah, but she just seems too cheery. After how she's been the past few months, cheery is fine by me. Yeah, but it's like she's gone too far the other way, Chris. You should stop looking for problems. I am not looking for problems. Just think we should keep an eye on her, that's all. We will. Hey, listen. You, um... You couldn't do the other one now, could you? Hmm. Paddy. Oh, yeah, I, I have to say, I didn't realise how much was involved. I hope they don't find out about your dodgy past. I don't have a dodgy past. Well, whatever you do, steer clear of teenagers. They all seem to be mad round here. <laughs> See you later. Bye. You haven't been put off, have you? What, having a tear away with behavioural problems running right around the house? <laughs> it's no different to how we're living now, pumpkin. Oh, Paddy, I'm being serious. Well, do you not think it might cause problems when it comes to the assessment for fostering? What? Having a lodger. Oh, don't use this as an excuse to get rid of Nicola. She can stay as long as she needs to. Fine. <sighs> All right, Mum. I've suggested to Katie that she comes to stay with me. What's the matter with staying here? It'll just be for a while. Now, wait a minute. You needn't think you can come marching in here and use this situation to get her back. That's not what I'm doing. I'm only interested in what's best for Katie. Yeah, well, that's a first. I want to go. No, you don't. She does. Listen, if you go with her, you'll end up on your own. No, she won't. Yes, she will. You'll be out at work all the time and she'll be stuck in the house by herself. Graham's there. Yeah, well, there you go. You'll be stuck with a new husband. You've never liked him. At least here, there'll be somebody there for you when you need him. I'll take care of you. You mean you'll bully her into having an abortion? Please, Katie, don't do this. You belong here. She needs to get away from this village, from this Andy lad, and from you. I see from the paper you're a bit of a local celebrity. Hey, less of a local. But do you put on any private shows? Only put me on. Well, if it isn't Hugh Hefner. Are hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine, thank you. I was wondering if you'd come home. <laughs> Why should I? Oh, she's missing you. No, oh, is it? If you're only in need of a cleaner. That's it, why I want you to come home. Why do you want me to, then? I can't live with you again. Go on. You all right? Uh, not bad, yeah, just going back to work. You still on for tonight? Oh, you know, I'm sorry. We've got something on, haven't we? Have we? Yeah, we're going to go and price up that job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we won't be back till late. Sorry. Maybe another time. Yeah, yeah. why not? You'll not get rid of her, said lad. <clears throat> She's gonna follow you around like a bad smell. Well, you can hardly talk. She was pretty quick to check up on you this morning. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> Meet you back at the van. I'm sorry about the babysitting. Oh, it's, it's OK, you gotta do it, haven't you? I'm free tonight if you want to come round later. Well, I'm all done in, Diane, you know. I think I need an early night tonight. I don't suppose you got much sleep last night? No, I never know. Oh. Well, it's not about tomorrow night. I'll uh, cook you something at the B&B. &B. I mean, nothing special, mind. OK. Good. Oh. Oh. Is that webcam still on? Uh, I'll just turn it off. No, leave it on. Are you sure? Yes. Sit yourself down. 
Me? Yeah. Right. Now, I want you to tell all our friends out there what you told me earlier in the pub. I've asked Betty to move back in with me, the, uh... And why have you asked me to move back in with you? I miss you. Sorry, you'll have to speak up. Cos I miss you. And? And... House has been empty without you. That's not what you said in the pub. And without you, my life's been empty, you know. So can you forgive me for what I've done and move back in with me? Well, what do you think? Should I move back in with this old fogey? You have 24 hours to register your vote. You decide. Right. Come tomorrow, we should have a result. I need to speak to Katie. Yeah? But you can't. I just need to see her for a minute. She's not here. Well, where is she? She's gone away. Don't do this to me. Katie! She's gone with her mum. All right, you satisfied with yourself? You're lying. It's best you just leave it, son. Katie! Oh, all right, John, have a look for yourself if you don't believe me. Where does the mum live? Do you really think I'm going to tell you that after everything you've done to my family? I just need to speak to her. I need to tell her that I love her. <laughs> Brian! Brian! It's the honeymoon. Katie!